Well, welcome back, everyone. Uh, uh, this week in markets, we've got lots of events, and we continue to chip away against a resistance ceiling. Let's go take a look at the market right now. What you can see on chart is a big retracement going back to Jan 2022 highs, October 2022 lows. The market, the S&P 500, continues to try and chip away at that 50% retracement marker. Let's get a little zoomed in view of that right here on my wealth charts. What you can see running through the screen infinitely are these weekly pivot lines. In today's market, we perforated the center of the pivot lines, but closed above. We also perforated one of the key resistance levels. Unfortunately, we didn't close above. We closed within the gravity well of supporting a rise. Still no confirmation that that breakout level has been cleared. However, if you take a look at the market that is actually pushing and pulling the S&P 500 around, it's the NASDAQ or the Qs, the NASDAQ 100. You can see a similar retracement over here. It's on path to get up to that 50% retracement and it closed in today's market in a more bullish manner. So let's just zip in and take a quick look at the chart over here. What you can see for today's candle is a perforation of the mattress or the center of the pivot range and a big bullish reversal and a close pretty much right on a couple of pennies below that next pivot line. Nonetheless, this would be seen as more of a bullish pattern. Now the question mark is, we can look at charts against levels, look at formations and averages, but having tools that can objectively tell us there's a higher probability for a continuation up can make that difference. Now, I've shown you in recent videos how I'm working with the champion trend pack inspired by Rob's another two competition wins, making him the 32-time only international domestic real money on-site trading champion. The inspiration coming from his wins there in Italy to use the champion trend pack indications, wealth chart member exclusive indications, folded into the trading that I'm doing in the active trader room in the room itself uh, in front of folks. Well, I'm going to show you how I've used an indicator I've developed with Rob's to help me identify odds of a continuation higher or, of course, management and, of course, potentially a move down. So let's go there right now and take a quick look see at it. We're going to take a look at the cues, but we're going to look at it through a different lens. We're now looking at it not just on a daily time frame, we're looking at it on a weekly, a daily, a four hour, and a one hour time frame. What's the purpose of the multi time frame? Price is price across the board. It's about the signal strength by time frame. Now, if I'm a swing trader looking out three to five days, I'm really interested in the signal on the four hour chart. And what you've got on chart is pivot lines, just like you were looking at, but you've got this up triangle here. You got a down triangle there, an up triangle right here. And you have the triple S subchart indicator telling you it's taking off. So we had a buy signal back over here on the 10th of May. Okay, and you can see that the cues have risen since then. Now, of course, interspliced and intermingled through that signal, the one hour chart had opportunities for buys and sells. It ended the day on a buy with room for the triple S indicator, the lines running through the channel to continue rising. Now, all of this started way back when, at the beginning of the year, you can go back and take a look at the signal on the actual weekly chart, which really happened all the way back in January, right over there. So you can see very clearly up triangle, and it was week of January the 9th, 2023. And uh, the rest has been largely history, obviously some oscillations, but we've had a big, big ride up in the NASDAQ. Now, the daily chart, of course, has opportunity to trade around that big weekly signal and you can go back in time and see the coordination between the signals early in January and then opportunities to get off the train get back on the train and uh, where are we left well we're left with a northbound signal on the daily chart that fired off back over there and that was on the 5th of May so as we get closer to today and tomorrow and projecting of course consult your registered financial representative these are forward-looking remarks and I'm looking at a tool that tells me I have a higher probability on a three to five day basis to continue higher. And when I look at the one hour chart that projects three to six hours out, uh, typically it's left on a buy signal with price getting above a resistance line and plenty of range to grow in that indicator. That's a positive state that um, I actually used for day trading and for swing trading. 
Swing trading coming from last week, Thursday, Friday, alongside trades on LabU um, and a couple of other items like HSU on the Canadian market, which is a levered long on the uh, S&P. So I'll give you a little view of the LabU trade right now. And uh, I'm going to speak a lot more about this with you uh, in, the, uh, in the next couple of days. And I'm going to invite you to a very special event to do just that. So here's LabU. There's the daily. There's the four hour. There's the one hour. So you can see that today... The 15th of May, we got a green triangle on the first hourly bar on close. We did rise. We pulled back to test the breakout area, and we were still left with that buy signal. The four-hour chart actually had its buy signal, the very last one, right there on the 3rd of May. Okay, That gave us a big push-up off the upward sloping channel. And if you look at the daily chart, I'm going to pull that back. The buy signal happened all the way back over here in the middle of April, the 13th to be more specific. And we did get a bullish cross that followed through above the center of the channel, which is a positive state. And we're left in that state. So this is a positive state of affairs for the biotech space with early signaling allowing members in the active trader room from what I can uh, hear them say back in the chat, getting involved in the space. And again, that's anecdotal. But I did real live trades last Thursday, picked up a uh, thousand shares of uh, a lab view at around six bucks and 81 pennies. And I sold them today for uh, about uh, uh, $7 and 19 pennies. And I did multiple day trades on them last week as well. So I'm going to show you how I use this tool to do just that for both day and swing trading. Now today in the active trader room, I had the opportunity to use the tool in line with intermarket analysis, multi time frame in line with the champion trend pack to take bullish long side trades on the S&P. Now I did it through the futures. I know a lot of you look at charts through the lens of the SPY. So I'm going to take you to a multi time frame view of the SPY, but this is going to have all of Rob's tools, all of his life's work, my triple S indicator, and it's going to have a, a, a full assortment of the wealth charts member exclusive indicators. It's going to look like a bit much when you first see it. But let me focus you in on the chart that I want you to really focus in on. That's the hourly chart there. Okay, The four hour, the daily, and the weekly are to the left of it. The hourly chart's been in a champion cross buy state since, champion trend buy zone since the 5th of May. That's right over there. Uh, so you can see that very clearly. That's the green shadow. And we've had a lot of sideways range bound action. This market's been trying to chip away at a ceiling. So there's lots of signals in a range bound market, sell at the top of the range, buy at the bottom of the range type signals. How did we leave the market today on some? Well, if you look at the SPY into the end of the day on the hourly chart, we got a triple S buy, we got a wealth signal, we got a championship setup, a TRP buy, a pro RT buy, positive momentum shift, and price action was riding the speed lines. The champion cross indicator obviously was there as well. And a little bit of throttling on Rob's ITP tools. Spike 2.0 tool in a bullish state, TRP crossover in a bullish state, and triple S in a bullish state. Well, that's a lot to digest, isn't it? Well, I use these tools and in conjunction with each other to trade trade today. So I'll give you a little view of um, you know, what that looks like. I'm going to pop that up on your screen right now. And was able to gross about $475 with one contract trading. And using the tools, and you can actually see the ES on screen right now with all of the tools you just looked at. Now, I want to simplify your swing approach using the power of wealth charts and the scanning technology. In total, with the wealth charts, member exclusive indicators, Rob's award winning, competition winning tools all together. And I want to teach you how I day and swing trade with these tools together. And I'm going to do that for you this Wednesday. There's a special session that I'm holding this Wednesday starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and I'd love for you to join me there. In order to get your seat and make sure that you've got a seat for this event, it's going to be power packed with market insight for day traders, swing traders across asset classes with multiple strategies. And my goal is to show you how to use the tools and then to transform it into a process that takes a handful of minutes to identify higher probability swings intraday, intraweek, and uh, longer term for those that are so inclined, and give you a process that you know, makes sense and has a higher probability of success overall. It starts this Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Simply go to becomebettertrader.com forward slash yes. Click the link in the video, bottom of the email, 
and you will be able to get right to this page to get your registration. This is a session that swing traders, day traders, uh, traders of all sorts and sizes are open to join in. It's a session you can't afford to miss if you're actively engaged in this market. Is it selling May and go away or are we going to get a tradable summer? Having powerful tools to give us an edge, led by Rob, and of course processes on top of that, can help with, well, has helped me with uh, trading decisions. Now, I can't guarantee each time that I will be able to repeat this type of return, but I can tell you, I can make higher probability decisions more consistently. Always consult your registered financial representative before making any trading decisions, and join me on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Looking forward to seeing you there. Becomeabettertrader.com forward slash yes. This is a do not miss session. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.